everybody, Miss Veronica here from the Poughkeepsie Public Library District. Uh, today we're going to be doing a little video uh, that shows you how to make your own ice cream in a bag. Most of the things that you need uh, for this project uh, you have at home. I was lucky enough that I had most everything at home right now. And um, I got this recipe from a place, a website called sciencebob.com. I've done this before in programs. It's really a lot of fun. If you're looking for more experiments and more science-related uh, content, you can go to sciencebob.com and follow along with some of his other at-home experiments. But like I said, today we're going to be making ice cream in a bag. So under this video is the list of things that you'll need. I'll be walking you through it. I do want to warn you that it is ice cream in a bag, but it's not going to be, it's going to be more of a soft serve. So don't get your hopes up that this is going to be a really thick, rich, creamy ice cream. You can shake it a little longer than recommended and see if you get a little harder, but it is definitely going to be more of a soft serve. But it really hits the spot if you don't have any ice cream in your freezer and you're looking for something nice and sweet. So um, we're going to start off with some of our materials. The first thing you're going to need uh, are two sizes of bags. One of them is a gallon bag, and I have that bag right now filled with lots of ice. The second one you're going to need is a quart size bag. These are going to have to be Ziploc, so make sure you can close these tight because this bag is going to go in here, and if it opens up, you're going to be left with a big mess. I have my measuring cup here. And I'm going to be filling it up, and I'm going to be moving my screen down so you can sort of see that. I'm going to be filling it up with some of our different um, ingredients. So the first thing we're going to use is milk. Now, I'm using 2% milk right now. Last week when I tested this recipe, I used 1%. Um, you can use whole milk. I would advise um, from using skim milk. Um, I wouldn't use that. I also wouldn't use things like almond milk or oat milk. Stick with your 2%, your 1%, or your whole milk. So you're going to put in 4 ounces, which is half a cup of milk. So that's our first step. You're also going to need cream. And I have heavy cream right here. I had only had half and half last week when I tested this out. Half and half works as, as well. So if you only have that um, or some other type of creamer that you might use for coffee, um, that would be good. But today I have old-fashioned heavy cream, and I learned this trick from Ina Garten, the uh, Barefoot Contessa chef. And if you mix everything together, we're going to just need a cup, a full cup of liquid. So I add four more ounces of the cream. And that's our full cup. So we're not using a lot of different bowls and um, cups to fill this up. Now we're going to add a little bit of flavor. So we need four teaspoons of sugar. So I've got my teaspoon here. And we're going to be doing four of them. One, two, three, and like I said, I like doing sort of one-stop vessel here. The less dishes, the better. Um, now's an exciting part. Um, this is going to be um, a, a type of base that you can make any flavor. So the original recipe calls for vanilla. If you have any sort of flavoring in your house, you can use it. Um, today I'm going to use raspberry extract. And if you've ever watched the show Nailed It on um, Netflix, they tell you that extracts are really powerful. So you don't want to overdo it. We're only going to use a quarter of a teaspoon of flavoring. So I'm using raspberry. If you have vanilla, you can use vanilla. If you have hazelnut, you can use hazelnut. Anything you'd like. So now we're going to stir this all together because once you add the sugar, it can settle down at the bottom. So we're going to mix it together. Now I'm sure you're wondering at the moment, well, Miss Veronica, this looks really good, but I like chocolate chips. I like cookie dough pieces. I like Oreos in my ice cream. Don't worry. There's a chance to do that. But first we have to make the ice cream itself 
before we decide to put any toppings, if you will, in it. So now that that's all blended really nicely, I'm gonna take my quart size bag and I'm gonna pour, and this is why I have paper towels here. I'm gonna pour my liquid mixture into the quart size bag, just like that. Now, this is the really important part. Remember, you have to really seal this tight because if you don't seal this quart si uh, size bag, when you start shaking, because that's gonna be our method, when you start shaking, uh, this is gonna explode. And let me tell you, I've done this at other programs, and that's exactly what happened. So we're getting there. We're getting ready to start the actual making of the ice cream itself. So we've got our bag of ingredients. This is where we're gonna get our bag of ice back out. And the last thing we need um, to really get this going is salt. Now I'm sure a lot of you at home have like table salt that you use to season your food. You're gonna need something a little bigger. The grains of salt are gonna be a little bigger. I recommend using either kosher salt like this or even rock salt. Sometimes you can get it at the hardware store. Um, but you're gonna need a lot of salt. I found doing this in the past, you're gonna need I want to make sure you can see my salt going there. A pretty significant amount of salt because our salt is going to help melt the ice as you've seen it in the winter time when they put salt on the roads. Our salt, I'm going to even put a little more, is going to help melt the ice and that's going to help freeze our ice cream inside. So we've got our ice, we've got our salt, we've got our bag of ingredients and now we're filling that bag of ice with the bag of ingredients and we're sealing the top of this. So I'm gonna let you see me again. That's it. What we have so far is before we get to the real methodology of making it. The next part takes about five to eight minutes. Um, so I'm going to do it here in the video and probably edit a little bit later. Now's a pretty good time to turn on some music if you want, get some shaking. I also recommend either using a towel, a dish towel, or some gloves, because as you start shaking this, and we're gonna start shaking it like this, um, it can get a little cold. So, <laughs> you can hold it like this, you can do shaking it as if you're driving a car, and you really wanna shake the whole bag, not just trying to get the inside, but the whole bag shaking together, so the salt and ice can move with the bag and start freezing it. So uh, I'm gonna put on some music, I'm gonna start shaking, and we'll see you in about five to eight minutes, okay? Get going. So I'm about halfway through, a little less actually, and you can see in my bag, and here's Dolly, Ooh. you can see in my bag it's starting to get a little thicker, Keep going, don't be disheartened if it doesn't look like it's shaping up yet. It takes some elbow grease and a little bit of time. All right, so I'm at about the five minute mark and you can really see it's, hopefully you can see it's thickening up and really coming together. I'm gonna do it a couple more minutes and um, then we'll get together and, and jazz it up with some all right, I'm at about the seven, seven and a half minute mark. So I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna bring down the screen a little and show you. It gets a little wet sometimes and like I said, a little cold. But you're gonna open up your gallon bag and inside we've got our bag of ice cream. Now, it's important at this point to wipe this down because remember, you've been shaking this bag uh, with ice and salt, but I wanna show you, this helps our ice cream form. See how much ice we had? With all that salt in it, it really melted it, it helped form our ice cream. Um, 
So even if you want to transfer this to a bowl, and I'm actually going to eat it out of the bag because, like I said, less dishes, um, you want to wipe it down because if you don't, you're going to get that salt taste. But I'm going to open it up. I'm going to flip my sides down, and there's my ice cream. So let's try a little. Remember, I added my raspberry. Mmm. Mmm. That's really tasty. But remember, we talked about toppings. Now, I'm a sucker for chocolate chips. I have mini semi-sweet chocolate chips. Oh, actually, I don't have mini today. They're bigger. So I'm going to add a little less. And this is something you can blend right in your bag. Or, like I said, if you put it into a bowl and transfer it into a bowl, you can do that. You can put sprinkles. You can put cookie pieces. Um... Do you have leftover Easter candy, or if you do it around Halloween, you can use a leftover crunched up Halloween candy. But uh, I'm gonna try it now, whoop, with my chocolate chips. Mm. That's really good. Mm. I'm sorry, my mouth full. So I'm gonna keep eating this, but I'm so happy to be able to share with you ooh, how to make some fun treats at home while we're all kind of staying inside. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please keep watching our other videos on our Poughkeepsie Facebook page, our Instagram, our YouTube channel. Have a great day. See you soon, everybody. Bye.